Hey everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Amy. Thank you so much for stopping by today. Today I have another really cute, fun project share for Erica at Scrap Diva Designs. And I'm so excited how this came out. I've, I've just been really excited about all my Halloween projects this month. I'm having a lot of fun creating Halloween. Um, I don't know what the rest of you guys are working on, but I'm definitely in full on Halloween mode. So this is what I have created, and oh my goodness, I think it came out so adorable. This release this month, Erica's um, Erica's dies this month, are just amazing. Lots of really good staples, things that you can use all throughout the year. So even though I decorated this one for Halloween, but you could decorate this for any particular, you know, lots and lots of reasons. So this is her new gift box die, and it is just so adorable. This is just kind of a quick look at what it looks like. I love the fact that she has the awning. It's absolutely adorable. She's got lots of extra little details involved with this um, with this die set. So the main part of this um, gift box that I've created is the gift box. And as I'm going along, I'll tell you all the other dies that I have used along the way. So here's the front. You can just see it's got, so it does have a shaker. It's, um, it's hidden a lot by what I've created, I mean, on the front of it, but there's a shaker back there. There's a couple of different ways to make the shaker. You can do a shaker window. You can just do a see-through window. There's a lot of extra dies in here in the set to be able to create lots of different options. You could just do the box itself. So I made a shaker and I did not cut mine through the box. You can see my shaker is actually on top of the box. So I, I did not cut mine out. And then here I have this cute little, um, this little witch. I was really inspired by Mel my friend Melissa, Melissa Carroll. Um, if you haven't subscribed to her YouTube channel, she is absolutely amazing. She creates fantastic things, but she made a a, um, a witch out of the gingerbread die and I just I've been waiting for the moment to recreate one so this is my little witch and then here she's got her little cauldron that says I put a spell on you and then I've got the little bubbles bubbling out through the cauldron and then you got a little um, a white glitter spider web here and then these are another one of Erica's dies this month this is the shabby chic flower and I've said this before I am in love with this flower this is my new go-to flower for everything. I absolutely adore this flower. And then underneath here, you can see I've done the awning. Um, the awning, all you do is you just, you cut it out twice. And then because there's um, em like embossing lines, not cutting lines, but embossing lines, it's really, really easy to just cut them down. My only thing is, is um, if follow a little advice for me is that when you're cutting them apart, um, I would highly recommend cut them as you use them or cut them and put them in a row. Because if you don't, you then you have to go back and you have to kind of like match them all up on your own. And that's what I had to do. It would have been quicker if I had just done it the right way to begin with. But so yeah, so I just cut them apart and then I just layered on the, um, the secondary color. And then, um, yeah, and that's how I, you can get a little bit of a better look over here. So that's what the cute little awning looks like absolutely adorable this would be super cute for like candy theme boxes carnivals summer just a really really cute die um and then here this is another one of erica's dies this is the double loop scallop bow i love this um bow i use it a lot and then over here i've put a seam binding bow and then i have these cute little tags hanging off these tags actually were made with Erica's um, slider die set, which is a brand new die that just came out this month. So instead of making a slider, I actually just die cut out the pieces. I just thought they were perfect for small little tags. And then I've just added on some cute little die cuts and a cute little sequin there. And I just think it looks super cute right there. And then over here on the side, I've just added on some pattern paper. And then this is another bow from, this is from the Little Girl mini album set. And this is another die that I absolutely adore. I use it all the time. It's just a super easy, super quick bow. And I love the way that it looks. And then back here on the back, I have a couple more of the shabby chic flowers. And then this is just a piece from the ephemera collection um, that matched the collection. A couple little of pom-poms. And then I put a little black seam binding bow up here on the top. So that is my that is my cute little box. And then it just opens up just like this. It's a really good size box. Um, 
you can kind of see even just from looking at it from the top it's it's pretty wide and then this is it opened up so it's a it's a really nice size box it measures let's see here it measures it's four inches wide four inches long by about two and a half wide and then assembled with a little top it is let's see here it's almost four and a half inches tall so it's a really really good size box and i think it's a die that you will definitely use for lots of reasons in years to come so anyway that is my project here for today um thank you so much you guys for stopping by and spending some time with me i hope that you've been inspired to go and create some things yourself and i hope that um if there's anything that you're interested in i'll have all the dies listed in the drop down box um below so just pop on over and pick up some things if they uh, you know if you're interested so thank you so much for stopping by and i hope you guys have a wonderful day thanks bye